When you think about healthy foods, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Spinach? Blueberries? Well, today we want to shine the spotlight on something that may not have been on your radar. Squash. Jackie's learning why it should be part of your healthy diet. Hey guys, it's Jackie, and today we are talking all things squash. And so we've got a registered dietitian and nutritionist here to break it all down. Vicki, let's start by talking about the fact that squash is actually not a vegetable, it's a fruit. Right, which many people don't realize right. that botanically speaking, squash is a fruit. They do grow on vines but they're really treated as a vegetable in the culinary world. And there's so much nutritional value in squash that it's amazing. Let's talk through what some of those benefits are. Absolutely, yes, yeah, squash is loaded with fiber, so it's a good source of fiber. You get not many calories for the nutrients. Potassium, which is great for blood pressure, and magnesium, so they really do have a lot of nutritional value. And plus, they have folate, which you want, and obviously, during pregnancy and even mm -hmm. beyond for women's health. From a flavor perspective, there's a lot of different ways that you can prepare it. There's a lot of variety. You have a few examples here. Yes, yes, and squash is so versatile. Roast squash in the oven. I've got zucchini spiralized here, which is so easy if you have your own spiralizer. So you can Very buy fun. squash in zigzags too, so it makes it almost like a french fry. Kids love it. And so there are so many different options for preparation. You're gonna show us one of them today in a recipe. Yes, yes, I'm super excited. We're making a pesto spaghetti squash. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's start with the first step, the spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash is so easy to make. So you yes. just cut the spaghetti squash in half. Okay. And I'm just going to put it in the oven 400 degrees and I cover it with tin foil, a little piece of tin foil okay. to get it roasted well. So, okay, so you've already done that step. Yes. Now you just scoop out the spaghetti squash, which looks a lot like spaghetti. And then I'm gonna put it right in this bowl okay. here. Super easy to do. Add pesto to it. Okay, so how do we start with the pesto? Okay, so for pesto, we're just gonna use our food processor, just add basil to your food processor. And you use about two cups of basil, pulse it just a bit, and then you're gonna add the pistachio and then you're gonna add your Parmesan cheese. This is about a cup of Parmesan. Pulse it, that, super easy. And then we're going to add our olive oil. And then I'm going to add a little bit of garlic to this. We are going to add this to our spaghetti squash. So you just literally, from your food processor, add your pesto, and then you can serve it warm or chilled. So I think the main takeaway is that there are a lot of ways we can incorporate squash into our diets that add flavor and nutrition. Absolutely, you know, squash is so nutrient dense. You get fiber, folic acid, magnesium, and tons of flavor from all these different types of squash. Right, well thank you so much, Vicki. And are you cooking with squash at home? We wanna see what you're making. Tag us on Instagram at livinghealthytv. Do you want more Living Healthy content? Well, check out these videos right here. And then subscribe for more right here.